Hey guys, hi. I'm Jo from Click to Restore and I am live on the Redesign with Prima page today to do some decoupage. If you're joining me live, let me know where you're watching from and if you're watching a replay, then say a hi. So, now I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima and I come live on alternate Fridays at noon. Um, I haven't been coming on live because of some health issues, but uh, I'm fine now and I hope to be uh, back live on alternate Fridays at noon, okay? So today we are going to be doing, doing some decoupage. Hey Roz, I can see Roz watching and if you have any questions, you can uh, ask here, Roz will be here to help answer those questions and if I am reading, I'll help answer those questions as well. So I will be moving this uh, camera down, tilt it down so that you can see what I'm working on, okay? So here we go. Okay, I have all these supplies ready here uh, and we will do some interesting stuff, some decoupage and make some nice uh, coasters, okay? So what I will be using on today is are these coasters. They are from Ikea and uh, uh, we will be doing some decoupage on it and some interesting uh, things and I will show you the two methods that you can use to do your decoupage, or do decoupage, okay? So this is the coaster and I will be painting today in Dixie Belle pink champagne. It's a very muted color. So first I will go ahead and show you how the uh, decoupage these tissue papers from Redesign with Prima. And this one is a flower market. So this is how it looks like. It comes in two sheets. So one of the sheets I have used and one of them is here. And this is how it looks like. It's very pretty, very French, very floral. And this is how it is. So you can see that this is transparent, right? It's a tissue paper, but it's actually like a drying sheet. And you can see how the texture is. You can still see uh, it has a kind of transparency here. So that's why I'm just going to paint my uh, coaster before putting it because I know if I put it as is, I can see those browns here and which I don't want. So I'm using the Dixie Belle round small brush. I have left the link above if you want to try uh, order Dixie Belle paint. So I would just go and put the first coat of pink champagne. It's a lighter color. So the uh, tissue paper, I'm sure it will look nice. So guys, I don't do any uh, sort of practice before I go live. If I like to make mistakes, I like to make the mistakes uh, on the live so you can see because all of us make mistakes, right? All of us do. Hey, Fabia. Hey, Pam. So I just, I just decide that, okay, I want to try something new or I want to do a project like this. Maybe, let's see. I just go on live on my page and that is click to restore. I've left the link above. Uh, there's a blurb. So if you would like, you can follow me. So I just go a random live and I do everything on live. Everything in the sense, if I'm trying anything new, if there is any new product or anything, I'd like to try with my followers. So this is just one coat of uh, pink champagne. So I will just go and put this paint aside so that we don't mess it up. Now what I'm gonna do is, and I don't like this doing on a live, and this is using this hair dryer to dry this. So I'll just quickly go ahead and dry this. It'll be noisy, you can mute your phones. And Okay, so it's dried, okay? It's quick and it's dried. You can see it's all dry now. And it has, instead of brown, it's pink now. So there are two methods how you can apply your um, decoupage paper. These are the tissue papers from Redesign with Prima and I really enjoy using them on furnitures. And this is the same, exact same way I use it on my furniture. So the furniture, suppose this is the furniture and it's painted, okay? Hey, Diaz. Uh, so um, this is how, a painted furniture looks like. There is no top coat on it, it's just painted. So there are two ways you can do it. You can use this spray adhesive. You can just spray on it and just go ahead and put your uh, 
um, decoupage paper or you can use a top coat and um, put your decoupage so most of the times I use on the furniture I use a top coat this is Dixie Belle top coat in satin and it's my favorite top coat to use on all my furniture and decoupage so I will just go and uh, I have the brush here which I was working on on a piece I was sealing it and this is how I store in a Ziploc bag. If I'm going back and doing another piece in a few hours, I just store them. So I will just take a tiny bit of the top coat generously and I will go ahead and you see, you can see it here, right? I will put some top coat on it. So it doesn't matter what direction you are going on. With the brush but you need to cover your um, surface completely with the top coat you can see it's all completed here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this decoupage paper and I'm gonna be putting it right here on this and press it press it nicely to take out any air bubbles and I make sure you can see the top coat on my hand. So when I press it, what happens is the top coat blots over the tissue paper because it's transparent and it is thin. So, but this way is, I know there is no air bubble and it's going to stick on the surface. Okay, so I just press it nicely and I know this is right on here. So what I'm gonna do now is to take out the excess, I'm going to use the sanding sponge from Dixie Belle and I'm going to sand it. And you see what happens when you sand it, it trims. It cuts out automatically from here. It's a nice, I believe it's a 220 grit sandpaper and this is what I use. So I'm going to be sanding this and cutting this out, the excess, and I'm going to pull it apart. You can cut it before and then go ahead and put it. It's totally your choice. But because I wanted to show you, I first went ahead and put it on my surface, on this coaster, and now I'm going and sanding it so that you can see the method. But you can sand it first, cut out the shape with the scissor, even you can do that. And then you can go and just glue it. Spray adhesive, they, are, they work very fine on these. So you just go and spray on the adhesive and put on your decoupage paper. They stick on right there. And then you go ahead and you seal it once they are on the furniture or the surface. So this is a 220 grit sanding sponge from Dixie Bell that I'm using to cut out the shape of this decoupage. So I do decoupage on my furniture also and it adds so much of beauty to it. And I tend to use more on a French kind of furniture because um, I just feel all these florals, they go so well with the French furniture. So I will be doing a, a swing machine for a client. She sews and uh, I will be using it on one of her machines. So you see, this is the cutout and how beautifully this came. You see that? So once this is there, I will go ahead and I will take more top coat again and I will go and put right on my decoupage because I want to seal it. I want the top coat to go inside and sit on the top and seal this coaster right there. So I can see it's wet right here. I don't know if you can see it, but see in the glare, maybe you will possibly be able to see. So my top coat is sitting on the top. It's on the base and I know that once it dries, 
it will be in its place. So this is a satin top coat. Now to make it waterproof, what you can do is you can put on Gator Hide, Dixie Bell Gator Hide over it, it which is a, a water repellent and water resistant top coat. Or you can use a good wax from Ensalon, Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell uh, waxes are water based, so I tend to use Ensalon or Jolie wax when I'm using coasters like these. But most of the time, my best top coat is Gator Hide. And that's what I stick to. But if you use wax, those are the two good waxes that you can use. So you see how beautifully we did cut them. So now you see the side of this. If they look so ugly and you don't like them, you can take the antique waxes from Redesign with Prima. It's the Alchemy wax, and this is the aged brass. And this is vintage gold. So I can take either of these. With my finger, this is how the color of, but if they're not visible, I will just go and put a dark, darker wax on the side and make them look more pretty. You see this, the wax here? You just rub on with your fingertip or you can take a brush and you can rub on this wax here. So if you like, you can paint them and then wax them. But when I use wax, I just go on the surface. I don't paint them. There is a video on my YouTube channel uh, on how to decoupage. I have uh, used the same for a transfer on a vintage swing table. And I've used this transfer and I have made a video tutorial. It's a very small, sweet, quick video tutorial if you like to watch it and i'm sure it's gonna be helpful so if you have any questions you can ask me there or here if you're watching on a replay so the thing is um, you can use the decoupage paper as is on the wood just by putting a spray adhesive or a top coat or you can use it on a painted surface it's totally your choice but it goes fine on well, because I, I had a question from someone that you have to paint it before you put the decoupage paper. No, you don't have to. You can put it as is on the wood once it's sanded. You can just put the top coat. If you are not planning to paint it and you can just put it right on there. But make sure you put in a generous amount of top coat, press it down and you seal it back again with the top coat and let it dry. If you want to put the second coat off the top coat so here is my coaster that is ready and here are the sides so once it dries I will be able to just use this pretty coasters I can hang them on the wall I can just go and put a pin here and I can just hang them on the wall a wall art or I can just use them as coasters do you see how pretty they look and this is how the before is and this is the after so I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked and you at least will be confident on how to use a decoupage paper and the same way you can use it on the furniture. I basically planned to use these uh, stencils and I will be using these molds, but the width is more than the size. So I'll have to figure out a different mold that I can make and just put it on the sides and then go ahead and paint the second one. So I will be posting pictures and you can see the different uh, ways I use the decoupage paper and the mold combination to make these old coasters look pretty and beautiful. So this is what I had to show you today. Hope you like these uh, small, easy tutorials. I'm sweating guys. I'm sweating. So I hope you like this uh, tutorial. If you have any questions, if you're watching a replay, just uh, put it down here in the comments and I will be happy to come back and answer any of your questions you have. You can follow me on click to restore if you like to. I have a lot of tutorials on YouTube too on how to use decoupage paper, on how to apply transfers. So I'll be happy to have you as a follower. So thank you so much guys for watching and have a blessed weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.